Thanks. Um, for Mitch, just now that you've had a chance to kind of digest um, what happened yesterday, what do you make of game one and kind of how Columbus was able to uh, slow you guys down offensively a little bit? Um, yeah, well, I think they did a good job inside their zone, keeping five tight. Um, not a lot of shots got through, and when they did, the opportunities for a second weren't really there. So, um, you know, we're uh, we're trying to figure out ways to get by that. We've talked about it today, and um, you know, I'm gonna try some things tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, it works out. But uh, we're we've talked about those second opportunities. It's something that we gotta get better at, and um, something we're gonna need to to get better at in this series if we want to keep going. All right, we'll go to Mark Masters, TSN. Mitch, how did you feel about your game last night, and what are you looking to do maybe differently tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon? Um, I mean, definitely not enough shots on net. Didn't produce enough offensively. Um, I mean, the goal for more and I is just have more confidence with the puck. Um, not trying to throw stuff away, skate more with it in my hands and predict to try and put, uh, I guess, try and make more plays with the puck have the confidence with it, but at the same time, being responsible and smart with it. Thank you. We'll go Kevin Grand, Toronto Star. Uh, Tyson, more for you. What uh, what does the defense core need to do differently to, to help the, the forwards get and going? Is it more stretch passes? Is it more dump and chase? What do you guys uh, take of the, the whole thing? Uh, I, I think once we get in their zone, um, that's where the strength of our game will come off the cycle and stuff. So. Um, you know, whether that's stretch pass and, and tipping it in or, or putting these guys in a position to be able to carry it in, you know, under control. Um, but either way, um, we got to get it, find a way to get it out of our end quickly into their end and then um, create some movement off the puck and, and open up some space because Columbus is doing a good job at, uh, like Mitch said, kind of playing five in tight uh, in the D zone. And um, we got to find a way to help these guys, you know, get a little uh, free space. Hi there, question for you, Nick. Uh, I'm wondering how you viewed that uh, early chance you had in the game last night. Is it one where you got to tip your hat to the goalie or did, did you get everything you wanted on that puck? Uh, it went by so fast, I just tried to get on net and uh, fortunately I got to the left side where I wanted to, but uh, it was a good save by him and uh, I think it was kind of lucky, but um, it was good to get that first shot. It gave me a little more confidence going the next shift. Thank you, go Lance Hornby, Toronto Sun. Uh, for John, what do you feel about the idea of uh, loading up that uh, big line like uh, Sheldon did last night, uh, particularly when you guys have last line change? Yeah, I mean, obviously playing with those guys, uh, special players, and, and, and for me, uh, obviously believe in my abilities and go out there and pack the game. So we, we have to find a way to, uh, you know, break them down, uh, obviously get quality looks and, and second and third opportunities and, and obviously finish on some of our chances. So. Um, it was a tight hockey game. They play a really well structured uh, game. They do it as well as any team in the league. So, you know, we got to stick to, uh, um, you know, our identity, the way we want to play and, and trusting uh, what we're doing and staying patient um, with, you know, continuing to kind of adjust and adapt, uh, you know, with, with the way they defend and, and, and how they want to play. Thank you. We'll go Kristen Shelton, TSN. John, um, what makes it so difficult against Columbus to get some of those second chance opportunities and to really get the cycle going the way you guys want to? Yeah, they, they obviously, uh, you know, play their their team identity, their structure very well. Uh, they're very comfortable in those types of games and those types of situations. They really, uh, you know, play really well as a five man unit. Um, I'm playing five on the inside. So, um, you know, they, they obviously, uh, um, have a comfort level there and uh, built to some con consistency there over the last couple of years. So, um, like I said, I think we have to continue just to kind of adjust and adapt, um, you know, the way we want to play and uh, the skill sets that we have. And, and uh, starting with myself, I have to do a better job of trying to find ways to break them down and create the opportunities and looks that we need. Thank you. Uh, Kevin McGrand, Toronto Star. Hi, guys. A two prong question, but related. Nick, for you, I wonder if you could relate. Uh, how you felt playing last night and, and sort of the, the situation that you were in and what you thought of your own game. And John, if you could remember back to your first game and, and how you think Nick did in the same idea, first game in the NHL, but very different circumstances. Nick first. Yeah, obviously, it's uh, a lot more at stake, more at stake uh, given that my debut is in the playoffs and I'm not really getting uh, much more than one exhibition game. but. I thought just personally, I, I mean, I thought I did better than I'd expected and 
I know uh, even tomorrow I'll be a little more confident and hopefully get some more shots off and stick more to my game. And But uh, as far as keeping at it, I think uh, I did pretty well and impactful, but obviously got to clean with a few things to be as best as possible for tomorrow. Yeah, Nick's, uh, Nick's played great uh, ever since uh, we got into training camp and uh, the way he's come in and, and doing what he's doing at his age, it's really impressive. Uh, you know, for me, uh, you know, I didn't I didn't have to debut under these circumstances and play in the playoffs, like you said. So I had a great opportunity early in the game last night and, and uh, uh, fit right in with the group. And uh, I, I know with myself, and like you just mentioned, the, the more he – more he gets these opportunities, the more he continues to play, the more comfortable he's going to feel and, and be able to play his game and continue to make a bigger impact. Sheldon, any further thought to uh, maybe loading up the big line like you did a few times last night, especially having last line change? Well, I think we've, we've talked about at different times, uh, something that you know, I've looked at uh, different times throughout the game, but Obviously, anytime you do something like that, it has an impact on the rest of your lineup all the way through, and, and the depth is important for, to us. So considering all things, I haven't decided on anything uh, firmly, but um, you know, we'll look to see how the game goes tomorrow and make some decisions as we get moving. We'll go Kyle Bakakis, Sportsnet. Hey, Sheldon. It seemed like nothing that the Jackets did last night caught any of you guys by surprise. I'm wondering then what adjustments you feel your group needs to make after having a day to digest and pour over some video. Yeah, it's just, just kind of looking for different ways that we can utilize our offense's own time. Uh, we actually ended up getting more time in the offensive zone than, than I thought that we might. That would be a little bit harder to get to the neutral zone, but uh, we did a pretty good job of spending time in their end. Uh, of course, they did a really good job of keeping us away from their net. So that's a big challenge for us and uh, one that we knew that we were going to have to face. Uh, it's one thing to watch it on video and, and prepare for it. It's a whole other thing to be in the fight. So uh, we, we've got uh, one game of, of feel for it, and we, we expect ourselves to be better tomorrow. Next to Jonas Siegel, The Athletic. Sheldon, what can uh, William do to get himself more involved uh, tomorrow? I thought William was involved in a lot yesterday. I, mean, I thought he and he and Austin were the two guys that were really driving things for us offensively. I thought, uh, in fact, I thought it and I felt it. And then as the stats back it up that he had the puck on his stick more than anybody on our team in the offensive zone. So uh, I would say he was not a problem for us yesterday. Go Kevin McGrand, Toronto Star. Uh, coach, at uh... If Pierre Engvall plays tomorrow night, it looks like that's how you practiced him today. Uh, what would he bring that you'd like, that, that you'd like to see, and what does he in general offer? Yeah, we haven't made any final decisions on what our lineup is going to look like. Um, you know, with Pierre in particular, as we were making decisions on, on him, I think, you know, Pierre is a guy that, uh, for me, didn't have a great camp for us. Uh, we think he's got a lot more to offer uh, when he's at his best. We think he's a, he makes us a better team, but we haven't seen him at his at his best here throughout camp and, and then even in the, the little little bit uh, of opportunity we gave him an exhibition. So, um, you know, when when Pierre gets back in the lineup, we expect him to to uh, really push to stay in the lineup. Um, and, and like I said, when he's playing, he's he makes us a better team. But we need we need him at his best, and we need him really competitive and physical and skating and doing all the things that he's capable of.